Hello everyone people of YouTube, welcome back to another Francis Studios video. And in this video we're gonna build a very simple yet powerful amplifier using the TDA 2002 amplifier IC. Let's get started. So as I mentioned, we are going to use this uh, TDA2002V 8W Audio IC, which is the same package as a, a MOSFET, but it sounds much better than, um, than this IRFZ44 MOSFET. And it is in the same price range and quite widely available. So if you are planning to build an 8 to 10 watt uh, amplifier, it's a good candidate for a wide range of applications. So just as always, take a quick look into the uh, datasheet. Here is the pinout, and let's go deeper. Here is the equivalent circuit, uh, which is just a bunch of transistors and resistors. So basically this is a multi-stage transistor circuit, just in a one single small uh, package. Quite nice, isn't it? And here comes the fun stuff, the uh, circuit examples. We will build this low uh, cost application circuit, it's the easier one. It only requires just a couple of caps and that's all. Quite enough for some basic understanding on how this IC works. But let's take a look at the slightly more complicated uh, typical application circuit. You can see there's a, a feedback which is optional here, yeah? with a capacitor and a resistor. You can find the formulas down here. Uh, you can experiment with your own setups, variable resistors and capacitors here, to check out how it affects the sound. And it latches back to the inverted input, setting the output bandwidth. If you want to make fun sound effects, that's a good thing to play with. And here we have a couple of resistors, the ratio of R1 and R2, sets the gain of the circuit, so you can customize the gain to your needs. On this example the gain is 100. So I start with connecting up the input cap and this white uh, patch wire. And then I connect two capacitors to pin 2 and pin 4. This big Chang'e's capacitor is a uh, 1000 microfarads. This is the output buffer capacitor and a smaller value, the 220, is for the feedback loop that goes back to the inverting input. And then I put a feedback capacitor between the 220 and 1000 microfarads. Remember this will affect the output bandwidth. So calculate the value for your application, I just eyeballed this uh, non-polarized cap. But for a real life application, you have the formula in the datasheet. So let's grab our speaker and put it over here. We will need it and connect up the wires. And this is how we'll connect uh, to the two sides of the uh, feedback cap. And then I pull down the feedback side to ground with this grey wire. But if you're serious, you would add the coil. or resistor, something that adds impedance to the system. We can observe the PCB design, they made a squiggly line, just like an antenna, down to ground, but in this simplistic setup I will just use a wire. But in your real life project you can calculate the value just as well, it's included in the datasheet. As this is the other factor that sets your bandwidth. Alright then, uh, this blue wire is uh, the pin number 3 to ground. And one more thing left is the power in, which we will uh, find too. 
small capacitors, these are the ones, unwire them just like so, these are the decoupling capacitors, and if I were to redesign this circuit, I would add a smaller value resistor in the middle, and it would filter out more of the noise from the power supply. I didn't crunch the numbers, but from my bowling I would say like a 10 ohm or something. And it's all done, so let's have a listen. It's not terrible, but not good either. You can hear how the bandwidth is crushed. It's because I use the jumper wire instead of uh, normal impedance. And the feedback capacitor was eyeballed as well, so for demonstration purposes, it's alright. But I quite like the gain on this. It's, it's pretty nice, and most importantly, it's working. It's a little bit crunchy, but it's due to the lots of uh, bad connections on this circuit. Breadboard is not an ideal place for an amplifier. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. We are rushing towards 1k subscribers, and you still have the chance to be in the first 1k. It's totally free and no commitments. You can always unsubscribe if you don't like the videos anymore. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, that would support this channel hugely through the YouTube algorithm. And as always, have a very very wonderful day. Francis signs out.